It just got heated over there in the beehive. Whack 100 had to pull up and get the business clear over there with his team. Team G, Orin B, Phoenix J and Faith, what's really going on? Team, why you wake up and thought it was cool to remove T-Money and Kimmy and demote them down to that uh member status over there in one of them clubs on the 100 side of the app? Real quick though, before we get into this clip, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and tell us what you think about this tea in the clubhouse street. You know, get it from the mud type of stuff and, you know, I thought it was understood. Now today I kind of heard, you know, I didn't hear anything else throughout the app that could have kind of relate to that situation but that. So my nosy ass kind of, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I kind of... uh you know, thought it had something to do with that. Does anybody else know anything about what was going on? I'm trying to find out right now. So, um, I need to. What, 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 what See, bitch, we. Uh, listen, I found it funny because I asked. Hold on, let me take a sip of my beverage. Hold on. Y'all hear this elevator music in the store? I asked. Yeah, yeah, if anything right happened now. yesterday and ain't nobody said. No one said nothing. On? Yeah, yeah. you heard me asking. I was I looking I definitely dumb. heard you ask. Boy, you uh -huh. talking about the stuff that happened yesterday with the um brown table? The red table? Yes, red table. yes. Yeah, red table right. talk. It was, it was um, red things that Wack brought up. He said something about uh, T them getting removed from Street Runners as well. Who got removed? I guess Tink removed. Uh, what happened? Tink, uh, removed. some okay, cloud monsters. Now you're up, removed. you're up. Go ahead. What'd you say? I said, Wax said something about her removing uh, T down from Street Runners as well. T and Kimmy. Wait, so T took T money to her. We have to put names. There's no her, she's, he's. Put a name on it. Okay, no. Let we me, only talk about one person. We only talk okay, about let me name. explain it. Let me explain. So, we don't get messy. Um, the way it was said is that supposedly... Uh, Tink felt some type of way about whatever happened at Clout Monsters. Um, she took it up on herself to go on to Street Runners, which everyone knows is King Yo's platform, yeah. and remove Clout Monsters. King Yo got to, he, he seen that, you know, okay, bam, this is done. He seen that Tink was the one that removed him. He bumped Tink down to member. When Tink was bumped down to member, she kind of got on some like emotional type of shit and was on some, hey, let me start my own this round table talk shit. Then it was pushed as, let me put it on the 100 floor. Um, it was seen as though she was more on an emotional King Yo type of tip because of whatever, you know, she had going on with him that she felt, okay, let me go hard and push this club. And then she felt entitled. We're as you know, with us, just like Wax said and spoke about, you know, us sitting in Beehive with seven people. Like, yeah, now we have 233, but it was six months ago we had seven people sitting in here by ourselves. So how is one person more entitled or feel like they can just go and open up on that floor with 27,000 followers? Like, nah, that's not happening. So, you know, that was brought up. Uh, it was said is that she didn't mean to do that or she wasn't doing it to be, you know, malicious or whatnot. Um, that was yesterday. Then today, some other stuff surfaced that um, she kind of was like undermining R&B, basically. Like, went, asked R&B some shit. R&B told her what it was supposed to be. She LOL, LOL. Um, laughing about, oh, no, nah, I'm going to just ask whack. Or, uh, and then they're like, you sure? Because this is supposed to be R&B. Oh, no, nah, don't trip. Don't worry. I'll get with whack. Like, you know, on some undermining R&B type of shit. So when she was confronted on that today, she did the whole, I'm going to run. So, um, you know, with me, I look at everything. Like, uh, even things that I don't talk about, I look at it. So about 5.15 this morning, I looked at the app man on the round the red table talk. Tink was uh, um yesterday she had us all as admins. Today she was the only admin. She had all of us bumped down to leaders. Um after she bumped us all down to leaders, I then looked at the um same and I have a screenshot. You know how you guys know how I keep the receipts. Took a screenshot about 6:15 and then she had only Faith as the admin. She had removed herself. She never um, 
uh, contacted anybody. She never. So she basically once confronted with, you know, undermining R&B, she kind of just left the app and just said, hey, you know, I'm good. I'm gone off the app. So, yeah, that was some bullshit. If you ask me. And if it could be fair, Ooh. I did reach out to her this morning when I saw that I was pushed down and I told her in a detailed message, like, I thought we started to group together, so I don't understand why I was pushed to lead her. And I guess that's when she put me back, but then she removed herself, so I don't know. Right, and if she ever was to come back because she started that greenhouse, it wouldn't matter if you push the numbers. Whenever she comes and she decides to sign back on Clubhouse, she can always come back and be admin again because she created the club. Yeah. So she not slick even with that. That was also um, a slick move. Like people will say, oh, you know, I, I, I ain't going to give you, I ain't going to say you a snake, but you be doing slick shit. And that's what snakes do. So I don't know. I know when I first looked at the club, one thing that I did notice is normally WAC is admin in clubs. So when I did see it, I was a little hesitant because I was like, I don't know. But when everybody showed up to support it, I was like, you know, I guess it is a thing. But thank you for clearing up that confusion because niggas be acting like they so scared. Are we unfo- are yeah, are you don't what's going on. You know, you got, they hold it like it's the Krabby Patty formula. Yeah, what, what are we like, doing shit. with that? How we how we doing that? Are we unfollowing? Are we are we uh, how we how we playing that one? Yeah, I ain't fucking I'll tell with you it. This. I removed myself from that motherfucker. Okay, that's all I need to know. That's all I wanted to. Oh, so I'm gonna speak up and own it because I think I just left after stuff started breaking out because I got real mad, and this I'm gonna tell y'all why I got mad because um, I'll speak for me like. I love supporting all y'all, right? And when I started Petty Betty and Toxic Tanya with Jules, it was just our bullshit spot. And then when Wack was like, no, push your numbers and stuff, we don't get to open because, one, we got to, you know, we got to get our numbers up out the fucking mud. Like, this went down while I'm getting our shit out the mud. And I'm not going to hold you to see her, her club just to be able to push over to the honey floor. It was just like... Mm-hmm. It was like yo. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, if Dre is in a lot of a lot mm-hmm. of people felt that way as well. Yeah. Um, so I, I definitely feel you on that because shit, we you know shit. April twenty twenty, nigga, eight months ago, nigga. Uh, I mean, I mean, April twentieth of uh, two thousand twenty two. You feel me? Uh, niggas started from the fucking bottom. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We done been through a whole fucking lot, a whole lot of changes to to make us We've grow into the club. And to the club we are today, and to Danny's point, Danny, I'm sorry, I was um, checking out uh, of the, you know, getting my shit or whatever, but um, yeah, nah, I, I kept making that point, and I didn't give a fuck, you know, I, I, I don't have any issues with Tink, but my nigga, you can't say, wait, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, guys. clear. Okay, let me know when, um, if it breaks up. But you can't say that uh, you motherfucking, oh, well, I sent the invites out to everybody. What the fuck you think? Whack, just be checking invites. You've been on the stage with him a hundred times since November 1st when you started this club. You could have said, hey, Whack, I'm trying to throw you as an admin, but you got to be a member. Or I'm sure you done text them, called. You think you got all these privileges. It has to be for a fucking reason, you feel me? So you got to have his number or whatever, you know, like to feel that privilege. So why didn't you reach out to him and say, hey, we want you as an admin? You know, she's like, oh, well, I sent it out and whack never became that. Like, nigga, most people not going to look at that shit, you know, but you know the stipulations for being on the 100 side. He has to be an admin. So that was something that I woke up like yesterday. Like, th- this is crazy. You know, why is he not an admin? So and it was all this, it like be done on the 100 floor. Can I say something? So this was the thing from what I heard yesterday. Um, the whole hit was um, basically, okay, so Faith uh, Faith went to R&B and asked if they could, like, do a takeover uh, on R&B's floor or on, on the 100 floor. So Faith is the one who suggested it. She took about three, four minutes, you know, because I felt she didn't want to take accountability yesterday, you know, or trying to think of a way to get out of it. And um, come to find out, she was the one, like R&B said, um, that she said, can we do it at on um, R&B or the 100 floor? R&B said, okay. So she she was like, okay. She didn't make up the option, but she, she okayed the option. But it was a test, so too. Basically, 
Yeah, okay, yeah. R&B, could you speak on that? Yes, yeah, so, that part. Yeah, it was a test too. I forgot who it was. I was just trying to look through my messages to Phoenix or Wack, but I know I was either on the phone with one of them or text them when the question was asked to me about which floor to do it on. So they came to me. You know, they did the first one in my room. So the second one, I was already kind of side eyeing. Ain't gonna lie. Like, okay, so you're doing it again. And I kind of, I did feel some type of way because I'm like, okay, Faith is in charge of the schedule. Um, well, actually not in charge of the schedule, but assisting Trey with the schedule. So um, is this an opportunity to kind of like for Tink to get close to her, to Debo de her way in as it relates to, you know, easing her way on the schedule. I already knew what the rules were when it came to, you know, people having to have a certain number. But we also made an exception that if somebody um, went to one of the clubs, they can do a takeover if they took over that scheduled time. That's the only way that they can slide their stuff in on the schedule. So I kind of knew, like, okay. So when the option was given to me and said, hey, can we do it in your room on the 100th floor? I said, let me see which one they're going to pick. Because I'm almost for certain that they're not going to want to do it on my floor. And they did exactly what I thought they were going to do. They chose the 100th floor. So I was already like, okay, I see some other shit going on here. But I did not say no. I was like, okay, so let it ride. Um... So I said, you guys can make the choice. They made the choice. They picked the 100th floor. So my question is to Faith, since Tink is in here, why not do it on your own floor? Well, I That's my I, question of the day. I, it, 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 I know that you all want to be on schedule, but you don't have to be on schedule to open up your own floor and grow it organically. So why did it have to be on one or the on, other it floor? Didn't, it didn't, like I said, it didn't have to be. It was just an option, a choice, because nobody wanted to take the slot and it's like and just a fill it. So I just came up with the idea. Like I, if I known it was that title. Hold on, which slot had to be filled? Was there a scheduled one hundred room that day? Was wasn't this on a Sunday? Okay. So can I ask a question? Why didn't you pick clubs that were built before y'all and still trying to grow their following? We did. I'm Wait, hold on, Andreas. I was trying to get the business clear on the slot thing. Whose room was supposed to be covered for? This clout monster. But like I said, we did. Me, Trey, we all reached out and nobody wanted to take the slot. So we just came. I just asked. Reached out to who? Who did you reach out to? Because I damn sure wasn't reached out to about that slot. I'm, I'm an admin of a club and I've never heard of this in my life. So how was this? I feel, mm, okay, let me, yeah. hey, and let if it me, was Cloud Monsters, hey, let me say something real quick, you guys. Why didn't you Cloud Monsters take over? Let me say Cloud something. Monsters is not on the schedule, so they've let been me. kicked off the schedule for 30 days. So th it's a slot that they had, but they're no longer on the schedule. It's got you, got you, got you. Yeah. Okay, I understand now. Okay, look, you guys, real quick. Um, like, you know, I'm going to just get to it. Faith, I feel like you guys felt entitled. I feel like, um, you know, because you guys cl work closely or talk closely to admins or, you know, how Tink tried to throw R&B away, basically, and just, you know, I'm going to undermine R&B and go behind her. I feel like you guys knew what you were doing. You just were like, hey, hey, let me go ahead and, you know, feel entitled. Whack is cool with me. So, like Drea said, even though she's been here, been, um, been, uh, putting in work, we've been putting in hours, you know, I sat here in Beehive with seven people sometimes for 24 hours a day, you know, and for you guys to just look around and look at people growing their clubs, look at different levels, look at R&B, look at Petty Betty and Toxic Tanya, look at No Room for the Week, look at Street Runners, how can you not look and see that all of us are working to build organically that you feel so entitled that you could just say zur, 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 i'm gonna advance to the top of the floor you know so i, I that's just that. how i feel I'm slapping I'm the face right there for all the hard work that everybody put in on this shit personality man she always be feeling entitled and shit and i just be like damn my nigga i don't understand how a person who's older than me 
don't even understand how to motherfucking, you know, like you, you don't got no sense of like, you know, no, you don't have any boundaries or nothing. You think you can overstep shit and not even just you. And then you want to put it on somebody else and stuff. When you already said on stage, you sneaky as fuck. You be helping people get pregnancy tests and, and fake pregnancy okay. tests and shit oh, like that. You ain't let that one go. Ass nigga, dog. <laughs> you's a sneaky ass nigga. You sat there for three minutes trying to scheme on how you could get your ass up out of this shit. Nah, that's foul. That's foul. And I'm a, hey, you foul, nigga. And then I feel like Tink did kind of use use her um, on in this because to be honest with you, it was Tink's club, and um, I feel like she looked at the opportunity. Okay, she's running the schedule or help assisting with running the schedule because that's Trey's job. She's an assistant to Trey. Um, so she's assisting with the um, the schedule. So she saw it as her opportunity to then creep in and try to have it to where it was brought to the top. Because I do understand, too, why wasn't, like, Petty Betty or any other other clubs that are trying to get on the schedule even approached about it? Because Dreas is not in that group chat. So um, they had just did a takeover, so I get that part, too. But... Um, if y'all want me to go over these messages, because Tink, I don't think she's coming back to Clubhouse. Think she's yeah, that, that's weak as fuck. I hey, want look. you to go over the messages. Receipt I do too. A motherfucker. I do too, but can I just say this one thing before you do R&B? Mm -hmm. Hey, can nobody do anything to you that you do not fucking let them do? Faith is a grown-ass woman. Faith presents herself as, as she could be fucking manhandled and a motherfucker could come through and fucking, like, manipulate you like that. That's why I said that's not leadership quality. You can't just let somebody manipulate you or say, oh, well, I, yeah, it was her fault. Or, oh, she used me as shit. You grown as hell. Can't nobody, you need to take responsibility ability and stop trying to play like you just I, I don't know ass motherfucker like that shit don't even make any sense but yeah go ahead R&B can I say something I get what happened I get what happened now but I don't never want to say that this lady is not put in work and made sure she supported everybody's group and came through for everybody's what group you ain't about? talking about that what lady are you talking about Nadi? I'm saying like I like I get you know, like I get the smoke with her now. I'm just saying like but she have been helping everybody's room and doing certain stuff. Like I'm All just saying subject. Like, hey. I don't know. Whoa, I just, honey, like, we get what you're saying, but it's just like it's just like a husband that feed the house and take care of everything, but he got ninety bitches. And then you, uh, you can't do that about a person's motive too. I you you, you got to kick back and subject. Am I talking? Am I talking? I hear you. Are, Am I on mute? Oh, I thought I was on mute because I'm not on that screen. I had to unmute my mic and pull up the messages. Yeah, you got to think about people's motives too. Sometimes you got to kick back when you're the new girl in town. Sometimes you got to kick back and learn the team, and then kind of know. So then you're not like trying too hard or trying to be that person that's trying to implement themselves in everything. Gotta kick back sometimes and just learn. I mean, a totally. That's too I mean, many goddamn. I understand whose club it is, nice, but if y'all tag team that one. shit out, then y'all should be tag teaming this defense. Hey, can I have, because can I have that ain't right. Phone. You here? You okay. sitting here windmilling for your life? He finished. Can y'all even get it? Okay. Go ahead. Oh, no, I, go ahead. You finished, Danny? Oh, yeah, I'm finished for now. I'll, I'll, I'll pass it because I got some more shit to say. I'm okay, okay. Y'all okay. ready for me to read these messages? I'm gonna mute up. Okay, how y'all going? Let me mute up. Shit. <laughs> Everybody don't go at once. <laughs> I'm after the messages. I'll go after the messages. Okay, okay right, so we'll do me Kino. Kino. Okay, Kino. Kino, Kino, Kino messages. Kino messages, then what? Dreyas, them then. And then everybody else. Okay. okay. We'll follow okay. line. Okay. okay. I just wanted to say hello to the room, salute to the squad, and you know, as a street runner's person, you know, street runners, we got that out the mud. When I, um, you know, I was opening rooms with two or three people. You know, when I left Evan's room, I opened up Street Runners. Literally, me and B Swan. I mean, y'all see, y'all see, uh, fam come on the app once in a while. Like between me, him, and Jeezy, that's like the co-founders of Street Runners when we left Evan's room. Um, and literally, we sat in that room with two, three people. I mean, for weeks. 
And then one day, Wack came in. It was like, what you doing in here? Why you ain't in the other room? And you know, when Wack come, a million people come with him. And then after that, you know, I was opening my room up every day. And, you know, that's just how you got to get it out the mud. That's just how you got to get it out the mud, man. Like, and you know, FYI, I made the PTI, the PTRs, the first street oh yeah, runners, for, PTRs. For street runners, yep, my first street runner PTR. You know what I'm saying? Like, there was a time, like, it was me, Jeezy, and B. Swan when we left e Van Room. So, it's not easy. It's not easy to start a room. Like, I had, I want to say about maybe four people that joined that room. You know, it's not easy, but you can do it. You can do it, and this is to anybody that's in the group. Anybody, you start a room, just keep going, man. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Because eventually, if people like your content, they're going to join. You know what I mean? They're You're too positive right now. We're trying to be messy. Oh, like, oh my bad. Yeah. My bad. But we're... We appreciate it. No, it's <laughs> R&B. R&B. It's R&B next with the oh, messages. Man. Okay. <laughs> he was being too popular. You can, you can say that towards the end of the room. The room. Okay. A room. Okay. So, let me go. Let me go find the messages. The room. Let me go find the messages. I just had the messages, but, like, he was talking so long that I lost him. Why is so, he not African? He was talking so long that I lost him. So listen, so this is the messages after they asked me about the second time. And I told them absolutely not that the team got it out the mud and um, we couldn't do that. The first time I let them slide through. This time I was not having it. Um, so Tink responds. I don't know. I, I don't know what the messages are before that. I would love to see what those are. That would be funny to see. Um, but it says, never mind. So R&B said, we can't do more 100 floor rooms. Wait, never mind. So R&B said, we can't do no more 100 floor only rooms. Well, 100 rooms. So then Tink responds, damn G. I just added the damn G. <laughs> Anyways, she responds, <laughs> LOL, did Wax say that? So she's laughing like, did Wax say that? So she said, I'll tap in with Wax. She said, so then Faith says, girl, no, R&B. Like, girl, no, Wax didn't say that. R&B said that shit, bitch. So then she says, okay, I'll talk to Wax tonight to confirm. Wax has the say-so. So then Faith responds, basically, the 100th floor is a privilege, R&B said. Tink says, LOL, ha ha ha, that bitch crazy. <laughs> That's really what she wanted to say. So then Faith says, don't want other clubs to say, to say or question. Don't want other clubs to say or question. So then Tink says, I'll ask whack. So then, Faith says, or think there's favoritism, DN. So I guess that means don't know. I don't know what the fuck DN means. Um, and then Tink responds, I'll just ask whack. So then Faith loves that comment about she'll just ask whack. She hit the little heart on it. Like, you go, bitch. Yes, so go ask Wack, because fuck this bitch. This bitch ain't got no say-so, and he got the last say-so, and fuck what the fuck this bitch say, because this bitch ain't nobody. Bitch, we got vaginas, too. Oh, shit. Hey, look, so she could ask Wack, ask Wack, ask Wack, ass motherfucker, right? Mm. But she couldn't ask Wack to motherfucking follow the club so he could become an admin? Like, bitch, you got ulterior motives. Bitch, you had yourself on there twice, my nigga. You feel me? Before anybody. And then you fucking sneak in. Then you trying to use faith and shit like that. Knowing faith. You know what I mean? Gonna probably go with the flow. But I feel like faith is smarter than what the fuck she's trying to present. You feel she me? Like the I love on the she was gonna act back instead shit. of saying, no, I think we better Girl, do the phone. And she could have uh, left it alone. Uh, RB, you want to hear something crazy? What's up, boo? Yeah, y'all want to y'all want to take a shot? I got Freddie Band off a clubhouse. <laughs> Damn. 
Thank you. Clear it up, Clear it up. We were Can you hear me? Nah, you're just going in and out. Me? Go, go, go a little more to the left. No, 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 a little more to the Can right. Can you hear me? The, the right there. Right okay. there. <laughs> so. So this is the shit that we be having to deal with as admin, you know, especially being women, because what y'all do is y'all go back behind our back and try to make it seem like somebody hating on y'all, somebody, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be some shit that a person have to deal with. Ain't nobody hating on y'all. Like, ain't nobody trying to hold y'all down. Ain't nobody trying to nothing, but the rules are the rules, like. People just don't come in and get favor. Y'all don't know. People had to get it out the mud. So you think you're just going to slide in and it's going to be all good because you can. No. Oh, God. Oh, Faith, say it out loud. We're in the messy room. Say it out loud. I want to know, R&B, what, what makes that noise that you just made? crazy. I'm just gonna go on mute. I, obviously, if you scared, I mean, say you scared. I'm not, no, I'm not saying I'm scared, but I'm just saying, like, what nah, are you saying? Nah, don't, don't. 
I'm no, go ahead and say how you go ahead and say how you feel. It's like when you fight with your sisters. I got three older sisters. What it's gonna be crazy. like this. I'm being called snakes and everything, and I didn't even say anything. What did I say in this room just now? Who I, called I, you a snake? Who called you a snake? Yeah. I said y'all do slick wait, shit. Snakes do, do do slide. Wait, hold up, hold up. Who called you a snake, Faith? Speak up. Oh, man. Who, no, just uh, answer the question. You got to listen. You are a grown-ass fucking woman. Tink is messaging me, and she's upset. I'm sorry, So tell her Okay, well, tell her to come in the room. <laughs> tell her to come in the room. A wise man once she said... The if Tink, what, yeah, tell her to come up. She must be in the room because she's hearing stuff. All right, well, let's keep on talking. Go, uh, you finish with the messages that Tink did? What she think? We, what, what? We hiding it? Shit, replays is on. Don't let me, man. I'm trying to. So, so, but so, Faith, you got to get some kind of backbone at the end of the day because, you know, like, unless you just want to be a pussy. Now, I mean, no, I, I know we got one. No, okay, well, you got to open cool. up. There goes Tink. Tink this this person, room. if she threw you under the bus yesterday and you took the blame for yesterday, but clearly, to be honest with you, like, you can't see I mean wh what the I don't understand you don't see how that was like the, nothing in you is aware of you know what I could see how that can be taken because as a woman a grown ass woman with children I could see how man that could have been looking like we was going behind her back and I was in, in agreement to it because I love the fucking message you you put a heart by the last no, comment no, that no, she no. made I apologize Tink is in here though I apologize and I'm sorry but you don't have to I'm you don't sorry. have to you don't have to whine about it that's the issue I'm not I'm you, sorry you Tink, stick your Tink, chest Tink, out I'm sorry. I, I'm let, sorry you know I'm what I'm saying as a woman I apologize for being let your backbone slip put your hand on your hip this nigga be apologizing every other week don't she that's all you have so let me let me go ahead and let me say what happened literally from time the whole timeline like this is not even no bullshit so literally me and faith we had been planning to make our own club type shit because shit we had just wanted to make our own club we come up with names about the bam and i come up with the red table top Faith is like, you go ahead and uh, make the room. And she was pretty much the, the type of uh, business deal that we had going on was that she was going to be the one to plan it, get us on a schedule, whatever the case may be. Uh, I was just really just there type shit. That's all. That was know. like not okay because at the end of the day, how the fuck can you get something on the schedule that does not qualify to be on the schedule? Can, can I so she thought she had a hole and you used her to get on the schedule. Wait, 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 what? No, y'all not, not even allowed. Dream work. Dream work. So y'all not even allowed. No, I, 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 you just came in. We were in the middle of a conversation. Let her finish. Let her finish. Let her finish. I thought y'all wanted me to come in. Like if yeah, you got we gotta let one person. You gotta wait your turn though. Let her finish, okay, though. Let, let her finish, y'all. Okay, so, no, what I'm saying is, no, nobody used nobody. Hold on, Faith, because nobody used nobody. She just became better with the schedule and thing with Trey. So then that's when, you know, it just became normal, like, hey, this slot is open. We can do this. We can do that. So going back, going back in time since y'all wanted to hit on everything, the reason why the Cloud Monsters was even dropped off of Street Runners was because simply – um, I don't know if y'all remember, but that day where um, it was a lot of movement going on within the, underneath the Clout Monsters house, which has been resolved by now. But I was just like, shit, let's wait till we get the business clear. Let's see what the fuck is going on type shit. So we ended up getting that. I put them back literally the same day because I think Wack ended up having a conversation with uh, the Clout Monsters. So moving forward, um, maybe sometime last week, I was told that, hey, um, there's... And this is after we had took over Love and r and I was told, hey, we could go ahead and either take over Love and R&B again or we could get the uh, clear for the 100 space. I'm like, shit, bet we could get the 100 space type shit. So Faith lets me know that we get the 100 space and we have the room. There was no, like, issues. That was on Sunday, this past Sunday. But Faith said that came from you, but okay. I'm no, probably... I have. It's, the, it's in text. Didn't message. Faith say just now prior to Tink coming here that it was Tink? That's idea cap, I got to go to the honey floor. I, that, that's cap. That's cap. That. No, I said, I, this is exactly it's in text said. messaging. Can you hit me up? Messages. That's cap. If you want to do 100 or R&B, she said 100. I gave her the option, just like I said yesterday. 
I didn't change my story on that. Right, so That's you just true. said what I just said, but I'm saying that you brought that shit to me. I wasn't really, I had scheduled a room to go in, what's to call it, the red and table talk. Like Hold on, wait, Faith, because you're not keeping it real with everybody, and I don't like that shit, but this is what I'm saying, though. Tell I literally it all. had scheduled, yeah, I had scheduled a room prior to even, I was going to throw it on my floor. On my floor, it was called, it's Clubhouse Ruining Relationships. Let's be 100. That's exactly what the fuck it said. And then I, I was seen told, that go up. I seen exactly. that go up. Exactly. And then I was told, hey, we can take over 11 R&B or we should go to the 100 floor. And I'm like, all right, shit, let's go to the 100 floor. Fuck it. Because, I mean, the conversation started on the 100 floor in the morning show. So I'm like, shit, you know, fuck it. Like, I didn't even think of it, you know, as far as everybody getting out the mud and shit like that. Like, I don't even open up the Red Table Talk because I'd be so busy trying to support other rooms type shit. So when it came down to that, I didn't even, I wasn't even thinking about it that way. I was just, it was just brought to me. But it was already scheduled to go on the, um, the Red Table Talk. So fast forward to Wack not being added as admin is because he never joined the club. Um, I did invite him. I could have sent him a link. Y'all probably right about that. But I wasn't even thinking about that because that club was a either here nor there type of club. You know what I'm saying? I'll open it when I felt like it. Cool. If we get a little takeover slot, cool. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like something like a beehive and like a street runners or the 100 show where it's going to be open like 24 seven. Only way it would probably be open like that is because maybe Faith scheduled it. But that was literally it. So, um, so fast forward to the undermining R&B. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what happened with this part, with the undermining R&B, I, I actually got off the phone with Faith this morning because I don't like the way that she tried to paint that situation. She didn't screenshot the context to that. I was literally going off of, I had talked to Wack not too long ago. R&B and Trey told me about 15, 1,500 members for it to be a 100-side um, show or whatever, I mean, club. But Wacky had told me to get it to a thousand. So I'm like, shit, you know, like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't really care to be on the 100 floor with the red table talk. But shit, I'll, I'll just talk to Wack. I'll see what's going on. That type but of it thing. Wasn't even, but that wasn't even mentioned. The whole part about it was it was not mentioned. Y'all only had 200 and some people. Y'all wasn't even close to a thousand. So what, were the, what was the conversation that needed to be had with Wack? That's not the truth, Tink. Right, because, because Faith was painting it out to be the R&B was saying, no, nah, like, they can't have it because it's favoritism, da-da-da-da-da. So I'm like, what? Like, what What do you mean favoritism? And it like, is. I mean, if I, say, I wasn't thinking about it like that, though. But if like, I say, I if I have a conversation with Tink and say, I let y'all slide the first time, that's not cool. Every other club had to get it out the mud. There's other clubs that are in line waiting to be added to the schedule. That was out of order for me to even allow that, number one. Number two, y'all just had one. So why would, if I say that, I've already damn overread, overrode, whatever the fuck I'm, what, whatever the word is. I've already overrode the decision to say, okay, which was a fucking test, to be perfectly honest with you. It was a test because I already knew. Watch what they do. They're going to choose the 100th floor instead of taking over a club. That showed me the well, motive. Well, look, when it comes there. to that, I forgot to say that. I forgot to mention that part, too. So the reason why I really, I chose the 100 floor. I don't know about Faith, but I chose uh, the 100 floor over Love and R&B because we just got done taking over that space. So I'm like, damn, you know, I want sis to be able to have her space. I don't want to keep taking over her room type shit. You know what I'm saying? If we could do it on a 100 floor type shit, let's do it on a 100 floor. It wasn't out of no malicious intent and like, oh, yeah, fuck all of these other clubs and shit like that. Like, it wasn't nothing like that at all. And but even to be real, even when it was a takeover in the room, did I did I not show just as much effort, if not more, in running that damn room and making sure that those links was being hit? So if I had an issue with it or it was a problem, because I don't open the motherfucker anyway, like why would I feel some type of way? I wouldn't. Right, so I, that's, and I apologize for that, like, on some grown woman shit, because I probably should have came to you or asked you, like, hey, do you mind us doing another takeover, but that's my fault for thinking for you, but I'm just like, damn, like, 
I don't want to step on nobody's toes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't want to take over nobody's space. And she barely gets to, you know, open up her. I like, I don't want to make it like a repetitive thing where I keep on taking over her club and she can't even open up the topics that she wants to. This is her club type. It wasn't that's even my where day. I was coming from. Yeah, but it wasn't even my day. That was a day that wasn't really my day. To be honest with you, it still looks good for me because the club is being open. So the increase of the numbers and how many days a week is open it's still recorded on the floor. So it really wouldn't have been an issue for me. And even when y'all did the room, was I, was I not coaching y'all through the shit? Like, yeah, you better get was. this shit from Faith that because Faith asked and reset this motherfucker. And the white, when people was talking, Faith, stop doing this. Faith, kick back and do this. Da, 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 da. If you want to learn how to moderate a room, this is what it is. So it was like I was running the motherfucking room anyways, and it wasn't even my room. Right. So I just want to also be clear, too. This is like my second year on Clubhouse. So I know how to run spaces and I know how to run rooms and stuff like that. But also with me being relatively new to the 100 side, it's a whole different ball game over here than what it is on like for everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? So I just try my hardest to be mindful of everybody else in their spaces and also go support other spaces while I'm trying to build my own space type shit. So um, I definitely do apologize if I still ended up stepping on toes. But really, I just try to be supportive of other spaces type shit. That club was kind of like a, all right, if we if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't type of thing. So just, to, you know, be even involved on the schedule type shit. And then to be told that, hey, we can do this. Like, hell yeah, I'm just rolling with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like I, I'm like, yeah, let's see if we can get on the 100 floor. Let's get on the 100 floor. Like, hell no, that's not even a fucking case. You know what I'm saying? I barely, I barely come out my mic because I be at work. But well, well, first of all, um, I'm just trying to figure out like, if like you you you're saying that you know being considerate this this that and the third or whatever, but um you you do know that there's like 15 other clubs on the 100 side, and that have been trying to get on the schedule. Even if you're not involved in the schedule, everybody knows that. See, everybody know that. knows you've been know over here. Ever. You've been over here long enough, and, and the the stipulations have been put out there plenty of times. You know, and, and just common sense will tell you to just open it up in your own room because that's what everybody else would do. If ev if everybody could do that, there'll be a takeover on the 100 floor every fr freaking day no, to I grow the numbers. No, so to grow the numbers. So my thing is to faith like. Um, did, did you ask anybody else? Who, who else did you ask uh, to take that spot since it was open? You said nobody else wanted to take it. I just want to know, who did you ask? Okay, so basically, I, uh, go ahead and go, 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 you go, 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 go
but please, I, you don't have to read them again. Okay, I'm going to read them again. Me and Faith, I already know what it says, but me and Faith have had phone conversations. No, mute out real quick. R&B's about to read the messages. So the messages say, this is afterwards, after them contacting me. So the messages say, this is Faith talking. Never mind. So R&B said, we can't do no more 100 floor only rooms. Well, 100 room. Then Tink says, LOL, did WAC say that? I'll tap in with WAC. Then Faith said, girl, no, R&B. Tell me that ain't no messy snake ass shit. I'm getting mad reading this shit. Okay. And then Tink says, okay, I'll talk to WAC tonight to confirm. WAC has the say. So, WAC has the say so. Okay. Meaning this bitch ain't got no say so. This bitch ain't got nothing. I mean, who the fuck is she? WAC got the say so. I'll talk to him. Fuck what she say. Basically, the 100 floor is a privilege. So this is what... Faith is saying, basically, the bitch saying, you should have just said the bitch saying, instead of just saying basically. Basically, the bitch saying that the 100 floor is a privilege, R&B said. LOL, Tink says. Don't want the other clubs to say or question. Tink says, I'll ask whack. Then, what's her name? Faith says, or think there's favoritism, DN. Then Tink says, I'll just ask whack. Then Faith loves and puts a heart by it. Nobody thought about, okay, this bitch, let us do it before. Damn, we bent the rules. Shit, we didn't know that. Oh, well, since we did it the first time, we should just be grateful that the bitch let us do it the first time. I'm not going to lie, r and I didn't even know that that was bending the rules because literally this was addressed yesterday, probably two days after the room even happened in the first place. So Faith so never had a conversation with you no, about getting it out no. the mud? No, nothing I that I said. This. this is all she had wrote to me. She said it was something about favoritism. I'm like, huh? I'm like, what's going on? Literally. And then once it gets brought up on the floor yesterday and no room for the week, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I but didn't Tink, know what the fuck is going on. But right. Tink, let me ask you this question. Have you or have you not text my phone? Have we not had conversations? Do you not have my direct line? If you were confused about, about, about any, I, to the 100 I know, but, but, never it, had no but what I'm saying that. is, if you were confused, if you were, you but know, I'm if you felt any type of way about it, if you felt any type of way about it, why not call R and B and say, "Yo, R and B"? That's why. That's why I called you yesterday when I was told the information. When I was, I wasn't even confused because the room happened on Sunday. Yesterday was what. Tuesday, I'm like, I didn't even think about it. Like, the room was done. It was over with. I wasn't but even thinking about call it. But why call WAC? When WAC had called. Why call, why call WAC, though? Stage, that's when I had called you. Because I'm like, what the confusion is coming from? Right, she said you ain't and got then when the, I know, and that's, 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 that's exactly what she's that's saying. That's exactly what no, she's that's saying. that's not what I'm saying. You that's say in the messages, WAC has to say so. No. If you say. What I was saying by that. What I was saying by that. What I was saying by that is that. I was being told that, hey, this club needs to have 1500 Wack told me 1000 So I'm like, shit, like, what's going but on? But y'all wasn't what's even what's close, on? though. You so why would you need to have that? a you conversation with Wack if y'all no, wasn't even close point. to that point? A point? I'm just saying. But you're at 200 on the strength of the 100 side. But you feel me? So it's like on the strength of R&B saying tap that link and stuff. And then it's like you saying you're so considerate. Faith clearly said. I don't want anybody to say nothing or get mad or, or feel like we're showing favoritism. And then all you said, I'll talk to Wack. You have my number, Phoenix. So you got plenty of people numbers. You know what I mean? Like, to where it didn't even, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. It, didn't even, it didn't even click like, damn, I don't want to fucking, you know, fuck up. I am new, quote unquote. You're not really new. But anyways, you know, I am new to this side. If that's what you want to claim, whatever, whatever, and claim a, like you're oblivious, then I would like fucking reach out like, how you always be hitting Phoenix, like how you always be hitting Phoenix, hitting me, hitting like certain people with like little hearts, no, little shit, like so whatever, whatever. No. Like you could have simply been like, "Hey, yo, am I doing too much?" You know, if you no. were a considerate person, and no, if you were, and if you thought R and B had authority, if you thought R and B had the smallest of the inkling of a piece of authority, you would have definitely not, not have been. Case, I'm gonna hit whack. Whack doesn't even know really what goes on no, in the makeup of shit. The There's admins for a reason. They're admins for a reason because he don't have to deal with the small shit. All y'all motherfucking hoes be thinking, oh, I'll just hit whack ass motherfuckers. That shit right there.
there blows the fuck out of me because no, there's so a process and saying, that, no, there's a I process that. and there's a totem pole and there's a way, there's a way that a protocol. You don't just okay, hit whack. If an admin that, say something, I mean, holla at the I admin. That. I understand that, but what I was saying was the reason why I brought that up, just over, not because, you know, motherfuckers was about to get a thousand in literally two days, but because I was being told two different things. So I'm like, shit, let me go get it from the horse's mouth. Like, what's going on with not saying that I was trying to host another room on the 100th floor. If we could, we could. If we couldn't, we couldn't. But I was literally going to whack to figure out what was going on. That's literally it. So can you do? Uh, could you screenshot so we can get more context on to what these text I just messages? I the content. I sent you the text messages that Faith sent me. But my whole thing is, even with that, and once you look at these messages, it wasn't like, oh, I need to get clarity from Wack. It was like, did what? Never mind. R and B said we can't do it on the one hundred floor. Well, one hundred room. L O L. Laugh out loud. Did Wack say that? Laugh out. <laughs> Say it, they don't have to go by it basically. That's what, yeah. And I'll like. tap in. And this is the next one was I'll tap in with whack the girl. No, RB. When you say I am a woman, when a woman, a motherfucking bitch say girl, whack girl, no, RB, this bitch. That's what that translates to me. That's what, that's what I heard. This bitch, okay. I'll tell whack tonight. I'll talk to Wack tonight to confirm. Faith motherfucking ass that be acting so innocent puts a love heart. Love. Bitch, <laughs> I love this. This is what we're doing? Yes. Wack says so. Wack has to say so. Okay, translation. Wack has to say so. This bitch don't run nothing but her mouth. Watch me. Watch me work. Watch me nay nay. Watch me whip. Watch me nay nay. That's what that fucking shit seemed like. Basically. So, the 104 uh, is a privilege. r and yeah. said. It is a motherfucking privilege. And then it's she said, laugh out loud. She said, so, laugh out loud. Like, it's not. It, like, the way I text, like, it don't even, just because I put laugh out loud, by the way. What's funny, like, though? Laughing. Ain't nothing funny about that. You're but, clowning me, basically. You guys are oh, fucking oh, clowning me like I'm oh, some man. punk ass bitch that y'all can just Our go around that ain't got no authority. That's what that felt like to me. And, and the reason, and I'm going to tell you, the shit hit too far to my fucking heart because we have a, we have a relationship, Tink. So to see you laughing, and then I just snapped on motherfucking Faith this morning thinking that she was the motherfucking snake. I snapped on this girl. Like, snap, crackle, pop, snapped on this girl. Called her a bunch of bitches and some more shit. And the whole time, the person that I think is the innocent one that would come and notify me because we have some type of relationship. You check on me, I check on you. Like, it's cool. It's the main person that's snaking me like this bitch ain't got no say so. No, I know this on the app. I know this on the app. A lot of bitches be trying to fucking check in with you because they be jealous. They be trying to fucking get in close so they can see what the fuck is really going on. That shit don't be fucking genuine. And I'm not just saying that Tink shit wasn't genuine, but a lot of this shit be fake as fuck. That's why I don't talk to none of y'all hoes. Like gang, like you feel. I don't talk to none of y'all hoes. Y'all be fake as fuck. Every time it be a nigga. It be it usually be a nigga. Every time a bitch people nigga is attached to somebody or some shit like that, they end up trying to slide in your shit like bitch trying to wave you down like all this fake ass shit man hey don't nobody motherfucking call me all y'all bitches is a snake and, and faith is still a snake she just oh, made no, a so shit i'm her just skin. reading over these text messages again and just to give y'all a little context oh, um, the, reason why, the reason why this okay um if y'all if y'all know what was said in the text message please tell me yeah, no, nah, I want you to show that context before if you can't yeah, because so uh, the way Faith painted it was like... That's what I'm trying to say right now. If you Hold on. Just hold on, sis. But look, yeah, you this, stay, is hold the house, this is what happened. She hits me up earlier that day. She's like, hey, we have another opening where we can go on the 100 floor. That's where I had said... No, she had came in. Let me look at this. She had said that, hey, R&B said, never mind, we can't do it. No more 100 rooms. Da, da 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 And I said, oh, wow, did Wax say that? Because I was just coming from, damn, like, we was just in the clear for the 100 room, and now we can't make it? Like, where is this? Where did this Because Wax didn't first? have nothing to do with that. Wax didn't approve the first motherfucking room. That's the fucking that's, point that's that y'all fucking missing. Ask, I approved the motherfucking room. So it came to me. Didn't, no, didn't nobody go to Wax to ask about the first motherfucking room in the first place? That's the whole fucking point. But why don't nobody see that? This is the weirdest shit ever. If he never, oh, it was okay when I 
approved the motherfucker. But when I denied it, it's a motherfucking problem and we gotta go to whack. But did anybody think to take it to him before? Hell no. I never thought it was an issue before. Nigga, it's a beneficial, it's a beneficial purpose is R&B. Until everybody started speaking about it yesterday and no, no room for the week. Mind y'all, the room happened on Sunday. If it's been a problem, why didn't nobody say nothing until yesterday? And it's not no emotions over motherfucking the, room. It's emotions the because it's cool when it everything. works to people's advantage. That's the, that's where all the emotion comes from. When a bitch is doing what y'all want, they know just like this morning. Hey, the they both are narcissists, R and B. That's a narcissistic ass trait, nigga. It's beneficial. They hey, when it's fact. beneficial, it's all good. R and B, R and B was cool to clear the shit when it benefited y'all. But when it's non beneficial, then the, then R and B ain't shit. She just a nobody running her mouth ass bitch. That's what it is, man. Stand on that shit. Yo, who sent those text messages in? Like, I wouldn't have sent nobody that shit. It sound like a motherfucker was saying R B ain't got no motherfucking authority, bro. Like, like ask whack. If a motherfucker didn't get clarity from blood the first time, it would should have been no ask him the second time. The second time when they said ask whack. And then had the nerve to be yeah, yeah, bangers right. Had the nerve to be kicking the whole fucking time. This whole time. Nobody has said anything That's what I'm saying, until that, yesterday. That laugh out loud, though, that this laugh like out loud, kiki, yeah, lo yeah, loving messages. Loud, like, man, fuck that bitch and let's go ask whack. That's man, you know how y'all bitches get down, down, nigga. If I was to text somebody that, man, that means, man, that bitch R&B, she thinks she's some shit, but she ain't doing shit, nigga. I'm going to hit whack up. Yeah. Why you think you got more power than R&B? The thing about it is that she went above the, the you guys went above the fucking seniority basically because it's steps. You go to the general, the general if the general can't or the, the lieutenant can't take of it, you go to the general. But the lieutenant already told you an answer, so you can't go and supersede the lieutenant because you want to go to the general thinking you're gonna get something different. You 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 jump the chain of command. The chain nigga, of that's the one thing you always talk about the chain nigga. of command. You should have stayed right there and went, if they say that it, that's it, then that's it. You gotta understand it. You can't that's that's what people do. They people hear no and they wanna go to whack. People don't hear no. I've been told no, but, but I don't these, she says she understands I, 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 that. Cause you got You you got you understand. You have to understand that you can't just go to whack on. Air. You can't go to whack for shit like niggas this. Niggas understand that they didn't give a fuck, nigga. Listen, That's what it is. A motherfucker, a motherfucker could not understand that because if they did, it would. She said she understood that there's a they, protocol. I explained that, that she didn't give a fuck then. If that That's what I'm saying. Point blank. There it is. There. R&B do a lot for us. Like, y'all don't even know. Even behind the scenes, she do a lot. So, I don't understand why, why people be having so much smoke for her anyway. Like, that shit is weird. It's fucked to me. And not only do she do a lot, she do a lot, she R&B be fair. Like, people think she's a snake and she don't know shit. Like, she is fair. Like, she is like people think she's a snake and she do no, she is fair as a motherfucker. She hey. check, she'll call me and tell me when I ain't right, when me whack too. doing too hard, when he going too hard right. on shit. Right. Shut up, bang. So. No, yesterday for the fact that motherfucking the bean shit. She dropped herself and said, I don't want to be. Yeah, yesterday. she really and, and like that. Yeah, all this shit behind a nigga. And, and, mm -hmm. and this is the thing. We Let's get messy in this motherfucker. Let's get messy in this motherfucker. Yeah, we go. Let's get messy in this motherfucker. This shit is behind a nigga. Every time a nigga like he attached to somebody. Here goes somebody. Happy wake up. Happy wake up. Which nigga? Which nigga? Out. Shit. Yeah, demon thought he bullshit right now. The king, the king, the lord of lords. When she got, when she got moved to a member, when she got moved to a member, she goes and makes the room or whatever the fucking case may be. These clubhouse shits. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but the shit is behind a nigga. It's always some petty ass, bitch ass, dick and pussy shit. I ain't gonna hold you. Not over yo yo. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah, over yo. God damn. The God celebrity. Damn. The king oh. of kings of lords. King yo is a not the celebrity. <laughs>
Real talk. Hey, he tried hey, to get I it. Have, hey, I've been holding that shit, shit in for a minute, nigga. I've been seeing how shit been moving, but it ain't King Yo, but you just happen to be the common denominator in this motherfucker. Bro, I'm always the common denominator, bro. We got to chill with that. No, we got to wake it up. Because if the shit don't get woken up, up, shit ain't gonna. This shit don't got nothing to do with hey, it. Hey, you can't get shit straight if you don't straighten it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but we can't, just, shit. We, can't, we can't just throw people in there that don't have shit to do with the situation either. Uh, the, the, the people, the people who is about it's a brought you up. Issue. Nah, it's a deeper seated issue. So, nah, nah, so what's the up. point of having a chain? So, Evan, a lot of them do that. They go crying to it. Hey, I'm and the queen. Then it's like, yeah, they want to push up under you and get up under you until yeah. it's something that they don't feel like that you're going to say yes to. So they they use they try to use that goddamn yeah. femininity to weaponize that shit and don't know, bitch, guess what? The shit going to come back to me anyway. That's all I'm saying, R&B. You know what I mean? I'm just be sitting back watching the stage, Are peeping shit, nigga. Actually, actually effectively moderating and I see how bitches be moving. And I ain't got no dog in the fight, but that's why I don't fuck with you hoes, nigga. People be like, oh, no, nah, nigga, Ebony's a wild card, nigga. I just don't fuck with you bitches. You bitches is When I want what you want now, I don't fuck with these hoes either. No, like no, seriously, don't. Fuck these hoes, Ebony, fuck them. Hey, fuck these hoes. You can't no, show I, these hoes I, no grace or no love because hey, what the hoes do, they stand up. And then they take that knife and they pull it down to your asshole and then they watch it bleed out. They don't even try to catch that bitch. And they keep twisting it and keep twisting it. What's the point of having a change? Like I say, like I say, R and B, a motherfucker a motherfucker can only do to you what you let them do. That's why I don't give them a fuck. Fuck with you hoes. Who got my fucking number on the stage? None of you bitches. By by default, if you do, besides maybe three people, you feel me? You hoes be moving like a bitch like bitches move i got a nigga mentality but i do rest in my femininity but y'all hoes the way y'all be fucking moving nigga y'all see a, a bitch fucking flirting with a nigga all of a sudden y'all in that bitch back channel or y'all see an opportunity and all of a sudden y'all trying to get close to a bitch N- nigga don't text me i don't want to see no motherfucking gifts i don't give a fuck don't send me no hearts every time i get to one that motherfucker about to cuss out a bitch here she go in the back channel you know hey sis are trying to check my motherfucking temperature my temperature is always hot with you hoes me and my niggas on Clubhouse, we for everybody, nigga. We straight whores on wives. Nah, nah, nah. This is the thing. I stand on, I stand on principle. I stand on principle. Now, I can respect the female. There's a couple of females, you feel me? That's why Phoenix and I, we blood cousins, they never been into it, nigga, because we just a fucking light. Don't, niggas don't move on no funny ass shit. Like, y'all, y'all motherfuckers move on some funny shit. We see the shit, and you still can't stand on the shit. That's why, like, I ain't never fucking got along with females. Like, it's never been no beef, but I can't hang out with you hoes. You hoes be messy as fuck. And then you think because you got a pussy that you... You could just be like, oh, well, you know, like, like your pussy, like, bitch, everybody got a pussy, nigga. Everybody be feeling like, every, everybody be feeling like, oh, because they got a pussy or some shit, like, they got an advantage or some shit, or bitches be feeling like, you know what I mean, because they catfish, nigga, we know all y'all hoes is catfish. I know that for a fucking fact. I know that shit for a fucking fact. Y'all bitches is big as fuck. You feel me? You are all here trying to motherfucking just PCR your fucking head, all this fucking Photoshop shit. You know what I mean? All this shit. You bitches is sloppy as fuck. You bitches is sloppy as fuck. And that's the reason why y'all fucking, y'all don't got no friends or no motion in real life. So y'all niggas is all about clubhouse and shit. You feel me? Bitches can't even move without a fucking mind. Y'all niggas is fucking lame and weird as fuck. Fuck all you lame assholes. If you ain't fucking real niggas, do not fucking hit me. Fuck that shit. Okay, so what's the point of having administrators if you want to whack? Like, we have a chain of command, so why would you even go past the chain of command to even ask this man when he appointed them in the first place? So what would be the purpose? If they say no, it's no. If they say yes, it's yes. I don't know. Speak on it, Naughty. That's because, like I said, they feel like a motherfucker ain't got authority, which that's wrong. Yeah, or they feel like got they got a to their own point, like. or they feel like you know because they are insecure and shit like that they feel like you feel me like that's that's a way like oh they try to fucking convince themselves that they got more authority than the next and shit like that so oh I, I was gonna do this so they can sleep better at night fuck all of that nigga follow the motherfucking protocol who did something who did something get all the these catfish ass bitches no, who did something pulled up so we address what happened with those messages Oh, okay, so what? What happened? 
She or said she didn't have no malicious intent behind the messages, but clearly there was. So y'all had a conversation? But what happened? Absolutely. She is she here? She's still here? Yeah, y'all yeah, got it. No, we didn't get into it. She listened. Well, no, getting into it. You can, you can, you can't, you can't argue against something you wrote. So what? So mad at? Was she mad at Faith? Yeah, she called Faith a snake. Why? Faith can tell you that. I can't speak for Faith. Faith. No, no, why, she call, why she called Faith a snake? Faith she said that what she said wasn't the truth. No, we got the text message. Faith, you want to unmike? Did you did you hit whack and tell him that Tink just called you a snake? You want to mute? You want to you want to talk? Well, she said everybody was calling her a snake at the time, but um, he go to that was this morning, but um, but she told him like shit. I didn't call her a snake. Uh, you gotta, we can't hear you. You gotta uh, put your phone close. I'm sorry. Here we go. Um, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Wait, here goes the thing, right? And everybody, who's that, Phoenix in here? Okay. Well, this is the thing. This is what? Right? You can't call a motherfucker a snake, right? Because you didn't do your math on who the fuck they lawyer to. Right? That's on you. Motherfucker, like, if you want to go tell Beast, yeah, we're going to ambush whack at the studio tomorrow. Uh-huh. And say he a snake for telling me, no, use the bozo for not. Like, no, I get that. You go in, before you go in, you have to know who's who. I never called her a snake. I said she does slick shit. So I don't know who no, she's no, talking no, about. No, what I'm saying is, right, you have to know who's who. Now, he go to... Oh, he I know. The fuck up, he go to fuck the fucked up part about me. And some people that don't never say nothing. And some people that you just know nigga talking to them is like talking to whack. And then I got some people who they job is to say fuck whack, but they really would whack so I can really see who against me. So that's on you if you want to play with that. Like, Faith didn't do nothing wrong. Is that wrong? What if Faith do wrong? Faith alerted, hey, listen, this is what's going on. It's a bunch of motherfuckers that alert me on shit. I be alerted on shit I'm talking about. Y'all just don't know I'm alerted. Motherfucker be right on stage sitting me the whole back channel with me. Boom. Why? Because I got history with this individual. So that's on y'all to figure that shit out. If you don't know, you can't go, okay, who is that? I don't know. Somebody said something about R&B. What Hardwick on the stage? If y'all don't know that Hardwick and R&B started this clubhouse shit together on the same stage, Hardwick gonna trip and gonna go tell. But a lot of y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know that these motherfuckers go back to 2020, right? Y'all don't know that. So you say some shit, how she find out? You ain't even thinking no crazy ass Hardwick and R&B got a, a rapport with each other. So, you know, you gotta remember, they've been, been through some shit. You and y'all on this stage have been through some shit. Don't act like whack ain't help you get through some shit. Don't act like if a motherfucker came and told you some shit, you ain't going to alert me. Yeah, you help me through shit, but you make me be hard through shit. Everybody else, you baby. What I'm saying is, Faith has done, I hate to say this. Well, I ain't going to say that because I don't know. Faith has done the very same thing a dozen of y'all would have did. She ain't been cried. All she did was let me know, yo, this was the conversation. Here you go, right there. Fuck what I'm talking about, fuck what they talking about. Here goes the conversation. They didn't cry to me about sure. it. Like, what the fuck, it was the conversation. I don't know what she cried about. She did tell me they was called her snake, she wasn't specific. And then I called R&B. I said, yo, who called her Faith the Snake? What happened there? R&B I did. Came. Absolutely. She told me she called her snake. Because, I mean, she heartened. If you hear somebody say they're going behind me 
and they're going to ask you, and you didn't, now this is the issue I have with that. The first time when they came and asked me, no. Yeah, she told me, but the whole thing is I'm reading messages. I'm not no damn fool. Just because you told me don't mean you was you wasn't on no snake shit. The, it, the whole thing is now that you've gotten caught and now you see that, damn. So just because you showed me I'm, I'm supposed to forgive the snake shit? This is what I'm saying. The first time with no, listen. Well, hold on. Well, the, well, the message she was, I she was. She was. I know, but when 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 Tink proceeded to say what she said with the laugh out louds and shit, I've had conversations with Faith, and I've had conversations with Tink. Faith can call me. For, Faith can call me and ask me to help her work on her book. She can call and ask me to help other stuff. So you mean to tell me you could No, but what I'm saying is whack. No, what I'm saying is this. She didn't call me about e- No, she, that ain't all she didn't call me about. But see, I, I, I hold shit confidential. You can call me about everything else and with issues with everybody else and have me troubleshooting stuff for everybody else, whack. Let me ask you a question. I want you to keep it real. What? Because I think there's something going on that you don't understand it went on. Keep it real. Don't fucking lie. I ain't lying. Go you ahead. tell me a motherfucker didn't came to you before about some shit that you thought I was going to go crazy about and you chose to deal with it a certain way? Keep it Hell real. no. It wasn't nothing God about you going God. crazy. It oh, wasn't. Boy. If you coming to me and I can God, fix the situation. No, 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 no. I'm saying somebody come to you. Boom. And you knowing if you tell me this shit, I'm probably going to flip out. So you took the initiative to deal with it your way and you fix it, right? You telling me Absolutely, but to me okay, it's like no, you no, deal no, with no, so no, many no, other no, things. That's my job. Hold on. I get that, but what I'm trying to tell you is this. I don't think you understand and maybe you motherfuckers on the stage. Motherfucker, <laughs> you have become the image of me in female form. I don't know if you can you get it. You probably ain't seen the change. Motherfucker, you done went through a transition. So, you know, I think they did as much as she was going to do, which is, here we go, you read it for yourself. I'm just saying, she ain't got the person. It's only so much I expect out of faith. No, Why you so nice to faith? Why you so mean to me and so nice to faith all the fucking time? Let me, no, let me. I'm tell you why. You always mean as fuck to me, bro, about everything. Let me answer the question. I'm going to start crying and shit. Cry, Phoenix. Shit. I bet you won't. Cry. So, this is my only thing. Let me answer the question. Faith's breaking point is a 3.5. Your breaking point is a 15.5. And I really wanted that at 20. So. Not even on Faith Mountain. You ain't on Faith Mountain. Faith will break. Now look, Faith is a slick motherfucker. Do she her sure life, is slick. Do That's her why. Life, look, do her life. Look, slick as a mother. Life, uh, she, has, like, she has learned, because she got this little voice and this little persona, how to play the little prissy victim. Don't think I don't know that, right? But Faith is, only, Faith is not the girl you take to go fight with you. She the girl that's gonna tell you what what they say. I'm just gonna be real. Like you gotta know how to read, motherfucker. You don't take her to go fight. She gonna come tell y'all it's what they said. I'm just gonna be real. But whack, whack. What does that have to do with the price of tea in China? If if okay, she they did, have. She, she but listen, no, 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 no. She asked, when they asked me the first time, she didn't whack, give you the information? When they asked me the first time, no, that's not, she gave me the information once she knew she was caught. When they asked me the first time, when they asked me the very first time, it wasn't a problem. They didn't go to whack of, I, then, I, ex- but listen, she fucking, she, she, and then the part about it, I understand why Ting feel the same, the way, no, the way, because she didn't go back to Tink and explain it. She texted Tink and said, never mind. R&B said we can't do it on the floor instead of saying, instead of calling her or even explaining it to a text. R&B said the reason why we can't do it is because she bent the rules the first time. She shouldn't have done that. Not only did she bend the rules the first time. No, 
I'm talking, goddammit. Not only does she bend the rules the first time, not only does she bend the rules the first time, she said we could do it no matter what. And the team could have told me another asshole. Pause. Okay, that's number one. Now she sees that that was not okay. That you got to get it out the mud like the other clubs. That's number two. Did you say so, tell you another asshole? That's what I said. Did you say tell you another Don Gimme? Well, go ahead. I'm just... That's what I said. But listen, I'm a woman, so hey. Anyway, I'm so at the end of the day, so she did that. So instead of her going to tell this girl this and telling her the real breaking the shit down like I broke it to her, elementary, like I broke that shit down line upon line, precept upon precept, why she could not. I didn't just say, no, nah, you can't do it because it's a privilege. I never said, no, nah. I, I told her, no, nah, and I told her why. And I broke it down line upon line, precept upon precept. She goes back and tell Tink what I said, right? Only a part of it. She sees Tink has resistance. Instead of her saying, no, nah, Tink, I think that we should leave well enough alone. R&B wasn't supposed to let us do that in the first place. Look at her job. We didn't have the numbers. It is her motherfucking job. The, the, Hold on, uh, let me read this I'm a, Hold on, She should have said this something. It, she was the one who made the suggestion. So you don't let a bitch run off with your suggestion that you made. That's some sneaky snake slithering shit. Hold on. I got faith. Basically the 100 floors of privilege. R&B said. Tink. That ain't all I said, though. No, listen. Hold on. Faith, you fake as hold fuck. On, you know on. you was wrong. Calm down. No, she fake, Wacky. Hold you on. know that. That hold girl on. ain't fucking slow. Hold on. Wait. Hold on. Slow ass. Faith says basically the 100 floor is a privilege R&B said. Tink says laugh out loud. Faith says don't want other clubs to say or question. This is, I guess, what you told Faith. She telling Tink. Tink says, I'll ask why. That's where the violation starts. You don't agree? The bitch putting a heart by it because all she could have said I to her. That. She, yeah, she put a heart on it. She liked it. No, not what you sent me. It don't got none of that. It got, if you got to look at the heart. It got it on mine. No, look at it. I want you to please. I'm looking at what you sent me. Like, please don't look at it. Cause, that know, girl ain't slow. Ain't, that ain't what we look. I'm saying what Okay, I'm, I'm just going to start treating her like she ride a little yellow bus. Hold on. You need to slow down and be professional. Listen. Faith told her what you said. Tink said... No, she I'm didn't, asking. Wack. No, she didn't. She didn't tell the girl what I said. She told the girl R&B said we couldn't because of 100 floors of privilege. She didn't tell her okay, that wait, wait, we weren't supposed wait, to do wait, it the wait, first wait. time. I see this. That the team or supposed to get it out the mud. Or, wait, wait. Or think there's that, favoritism. What does DN mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Don't know. I don't, no, I don't know. That ain't don't mean. I don't know. What does that mean? What does DN mean, Faith? DN. You put it. It was, look. I was trying to type so fast because when I called her, she didn't. What does it mean? Her. Nobody asks. What does yeah, it mean? Yeah, it doesn't mean anything. It was an error. Type in oh, error. Oh, okay. So then she said, I'll ask whack. And then the second time, um, Tink said that Faith agreed. I see the heart now. The second one. So I want to get this right. So faith is that she's the one. That's what y'all saying. Uh, you know what? I'm. Uh, it's, it's above me. They both the one. Faith is the one. The two and the three. Okay, that's what I want to hear. That's what I want. We to hear. let we let Tink have it. Faith just keep trying to weasel her way out of it. She 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 is grown. Faith is damn near my age. I think you're my age. Like no, you're grown. Your and that's, I'm not your age. And first off, I did. How apologize old are you? Today, I did apologize today. How old are you? Yeah, she is your age. How old are you, Faith? I'm 37. You, you my age, motherfucker. You ain't that far off. You are almost same 40. Same generation. I think she was 40. So you not no kid. Five years. Within five years, it's the same generation. Anyway, not no baby. I thought we already settled this today. I thought we settled this today. I know, but you still going back texting him, telling I'm people him call, you call, people calling you a snake. So we going to address I it. I text him. Why can't you please confirm that? That was this morning. Well, I mean, I was just, you know. 
Oh, we right. know what time that was. I mean, so I don't know. Maybe she didn't address it. No, that's R and Wack. Like she crazy, my nigga. So she cussed me out listening to R and B music. So I don't know what's going on. But things you do don't just go away. Things you do don't go away. I might have a situation with a bitch and see her 10 months later and gotta get in. So she's saying like, oh, it happened. Like nah, it's supposed to be over. Though, it don't. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just gonna go like that. Hey, motherfucker. All on goddamn Facebook with that. <laughs> Not the way to the Israelite system. He's probably in the motherfucking train. Track. Your ass gonna get hit. Either you over there or you over here. That's Pete Funk you talking about. That's your training from the set. Yeah, she, I, on, I, she on board. I don't know. She, she, she know what balance. it is. They gotta forgive. You got to have a loving heart to forgive. And you know, like Pete Funk, we don't know to do it till we see you. Hey, shit, it might go on till we want it to stop. My, uh, my, my. <laughs> Whatever, <Yeah>. whack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it. Oh. We talking about. Oh, man. What, me, what, what? I just want to yeah. say this real quick before y'all go over there. Before y'all go that way. Like, I'm, I'm heated right I now. Mean, RB, you are being very. But I'm not. I don't hold no grudges because I leave this shit on the floor. I, it's you not gonna cloud very, my judgment. I'm not gonna mean. treat her no different. I am. I am scared myself. I'm, you make me nervous. This is crazy. It, where did it come from, though? I have no idea. Well, that's all I'm saying. All right. Yep, yeah, the beehive. You know what? I think you and uh, Phoenix switched places. She went over there where you come from, and you came <laughs> over there where she come from. You know, Captain Tazari, y'all gonna make her one of them brothers' third wives. So I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm gonna be the sixth one, Wack. So we gonna be the sixth one, Wack. She's gonna be a good sister on both sides. That's hey, yo, man, yo, man, I can't, you know, I, can't, I just paid for a Paru haircut. Can, I, can you say, cash out my money back? Hold on, what's going on? <laughs> You know, you know, the baby daddy peep folk, she peep folk, so I had to, but if the Israelite brother just stepped in and kidnapped me. I am not married. You have to, I'm she not married. Don't don't wait to be a married right here. motherfucker. Don't wait to be a motherfucker. Alexandria number 3.6. Yeah, I, I, I seen her get married at the cookout. <laughs> <laughs> You got married at the cookout? Goddamn, but hang you let her give me cookie. Mute up, man. Mute up. I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? This is a security thing. I'm like, like, what is she doing? Wait, what the fuck is she doing? They searched him. He was like, I can't do nothing. It's called telling the truth, nigga. She didn't even go to hood day, and I was 13 minutes from her house. (laughs) But she drove 250 miles. Oh, shit. That's so funny. (laughs) She just wanted some barbecue. (laughs) Hey, Wack, you were supposed to come out too, Wack. You were supposed to come too. She did. Yeah, she did want some barbecue. (laughs) It's crazy. I don't know, R&B. Listen, I don't know what's going on. I come in here, y'all on Fade Bumper, but don't none of y'all want to, don't none of y'all want to line up a Fade. She already told Ebony she in. Um, she in the A, so they can line it up. They both five nine five two. You know what I'm saying? So Ain't you know like y'all damn, doing all that whooping, but Faith said she got Ain't faith like in her damn, I just want y'all to know. Oh, 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 they they live in the same state. Faith, Faith, so. Faith in my background, I'm talking about tell them to line it up. Ebony here right no, now. I'm that's in Dallas, but I could be in Atlanta in twelve hours. Oh, there it go. She said, "Watch her say she ain't here all of a sudden." Oh, that's I could be there in two hours on a flight. Nah, it's cool, it's cool. I'm just saying, it's cool. You know, I 20 right now. I'm, I'm just fucking oh, well. around. But I don't hold hey, grudges. You see the title? <laughs> you see the title? I yell, but I don't hold grudges. It, that take too much time to be holding you in my heart like that. I was really in there on some crazy shit. <laughs> we wasn't on no crazy shit. People need to be held accountable. I mean, at least you was an admin shit. Oh, shit. People have to be held Why accountable. Why are you mad? Why are you mad? At least you was an admin. An admin or what? 
Oh, the club? I wasn't even a leader. At least she was a admin in the room. I was the last why admin, you, too. I was the last one to be added. Why are you mad, shit? You know what I'm saying? I'm mad because they motherfucking tried to undermine me. That's why I'm fucking mad. <laughs> nah. Hey, hey why? That's crazy. With R hey, I came in here and made the announcement. I already told them if they talk to R&B about something, you can't go around. I told them. Right. All and the cold part about it. Anyway. Yeah, the cold part about it is, shit, they might get it from me quicker than they get it from you. Thank you.